Hey everybody, welcome to another session of To Read or Not To Read from the Rapid City Public Library. I don't know if any of you have tuned into our book club yet. It's called Chapter Chat and this month we read The House in the Cerulean Sea. And this book has like super good ratings. Um, and I realized as we were reading it that it contained three of my like all time top favorite fantasy things that are in a book that makes me absolutely love the book. So since there isn't always enough time at the end of chapter chat to go into if you like this book, you might want to try these. I thought I would take this as an opportunity to try it here. So one of the things I absolutely love in a book is when you have a bunch of misfits that kind of come together and create this found family that wouldn't have existed or couldn't have existed before. The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend by Catherine Bybald. Um, this one is a book about a woman from Sweden who has a pen pal in Iowa and they write back and forth and they just enjoy each other and each other's book recommendations so much she decides she's going to come visit. But when she finally gets there, it's actually the woman in Iowa's funeral and she kind of finds herself stuck in this very small town that's sort of dying and not really sure what to do about it. The answer might be uh, to open a bookstore in an abandoned shop front with all of the books that belonged to her pen pal. I may have talked about this one before, but you guys, it's so good. The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. She has some other books too that are also equally as spectacular, but this one is my favorite. Um, and this one follows the story of, uh, there's this guy and everything that he finds, a lost item, he takes it, catalogs it, and makes a story for where it came from and how it happened to be there. So the magical realism comes in because these stories, we get to see them, um, virtue of an omniscient uh, author. Um, but it's also about uh, maybe things that have been lost in his life, and he sort of gathers to him lost people just in the course of doing business who have broken stories of their own, and they all sort of come together and help heal each other. This one is sort of a segue into the second thing that I really love in stories. Um, this one is a young adult book by Lee Bardugo. It's a two-part series. This is the first one. It's called Six of Crows. And this is a team of misfits that comes together for a very particular purpose, a heist. But um, they also all sort of need something from the others and how to find it and how to get over your own self, uh, keeping you from finding it. Um, this one also contains my second favorite thing, which is very witty repartee. So we are going to take a look at Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere. Neil Gaiman is a masterful author, right? He picks the absolute perfect combination of words to get across whatever he is trying to explain. Um, but the conversation that happens in his books is chef's kiss. Like it's exactly uh, the right tone, the right cynicalness, the right amount of funny, the right amount of heartfelt. Um, and in this book, we're sort of being taken on a tour through um, the underworld of London, but it's the magical underworld of London. Could not put this one down. The Gollum and the Jinn. Uh, this one is by Helene Wecker, and the sequel is just about to come out. Uh, so if you are someone who doesn't like to say goodbye at the end of a book, this is a good one to check out because we are just about to say hello to these characters again, which I love. Um, and so this has a creature sort of out of Middle Eastern mythology and one from Jewish mythology, and they both find themselves transplanted into turn of the century New York City. So you get these creatures feeling lost, not only among humanity, but also in the middle of a really big city in a time where so many things were happening and going on, it was easily to find yourself lost. Um, this one also very heartwarming. If you like your history with a dash of magical realism, these last two are absolutely exceptional. So I hope one or two or all of those sounded fantastic to you. I know these are ones that live on my personal bookshelf um, and will forever. So thanks for tuning in and I hope we'll see you back next week on another episode of To Read or Not To Read.